Hello! It's so good to see you all today. I am Raveler1, and uh, this is a brand new series that we're going to be doing today, uh, starting as the Chief of Sofia in Bulgarian um, in Bulgaria in 867, in this game called Crusader Kings 2. I know the third one is on its way uh, to being released, uh, but in the meantime, we've got this Crusader Kings 2 to work from. I'm trying to adjust that just a little bit so that I'm not hearing myself only in my head. So uh, this is a game, if you've never heard of it before, uh, of a dynasty where we don't role play an individual character, but instead an entire dynasty starting from the earliest uh, eras of that dynasty and running much longer into the game. Now, uh, we are starting in the Viking Age of 867 in Bulgaria, as I said, as an Orthodox... Well, no, I'm sorry, we're starting as Tengri, but our goal is to take over the Orthodox pen, uh, Pentarchy, the five um, autocephalous patriarchs. I love that term. Uh, it means the, the autonomous, those that are without a, uh, a background, uh, uh, without any other leaders over them, and we're going to replace them um, with a female leadership. In order to do this, we've got to be able to convert to a heresy that allows for uh, female leaders of the church, which is going to take us a little bit. But I'm starting in Bulgaria with the thought that we got to start somewhere. There aren't any female leaders in the Orthodox world to begin with, and this has that advantage of being Sophia. Uh, and Sophia is um, a Greek word that means wisdom. It's also a feminine word, and so it's a good way to start. So it is wise to defeat the patriarchy, to smash the patriarchy. Now, we're not going to be able to do that today, uh, but it is my goal with this series to be able to get there one day. Without further ado, let's jump into Bulgaria in 867 in the county of Sofia. I am starting as a count. Uh, it's one of my own personal rules is that I always have to start as a count. Um, before uh, moving up. It just seems like you got to start at the bottom and then work up. Uh, sea Knight, uh, that was very well explained, but thank you. Thank you very much. This is such a great game, um, and I do uh, enjoy explaining as we go through the rest of it. So here's our world. Uh, I only started this game as a... Um, <laughs> as a rough game, just to see that I had everything set up in a way that made sense. Uh, here's our county, our county of Sophia, right here. As I said, wisdom. Um, and this is us, Chief Marme of Sophia. Now, we're a chief because we are Tengri and Bulgarian. Uh, it is my hope that one day we'll be able to, I don't know, join the Byzantine Empire. We'll see where that goes. Uh, they may not approve of our eventual goal of overthrowing the uh, patriarchy, of overthrowing the autocephalous uh, patriarchs of the church. Now, I've got to remember which of those counties we actually need to hold. I know um, Constantinople is one of them. Um, so one of the reasons we're starting over in this part of the world is that. I believe that there are others. Uh, and in fact, if I look at religious view for Orthodox, uh, we should be able to see... Okay, Jerusalem, that makes sense. Um, Constantinople. I'm looking at the white places. I think that not all of these are accurate because I think that Alexandria is one of the places we need to be able to hold too. Um, ah, here it is. Alexandria. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Um, anyway, this is our map mode. We are, as I said, in 867. So let's take a look at the world around us. Uh, Kazaria, these are the, the nomads of the steppe that are up above us. This is the Byzantine Empire to the south of us. Um, Serbia, uh, I think there's some Croatia, Slavonia. Uh, this is a very tense time in the world. Over here we have the various kingdoms of East Francia, Lotharingia, and West Francia. Equitain's down here. Um, this is before the Holy Roman Empire was created, and what a world that was then. However, that has less to do with where we're going, because our politics are mostly going to take place here in Bulgaria. We are this county, Sofia. Uh, Tirnovo is the king of Bulgaria, who is also heir to the Duchy of Transylvania, uh, as it happens. They don't like us very much. They're Orthodox, um, and we are, I believe, Tangri at the moment. Yes. Um, 
So we haven't converted to this whole newfangled Christianity thing, uh, and we probably will though, because honestly that will make things a lot better going on. So let's take a look at our character, Chief Marmay. Um, we are craven, shy, paranoid, and cruel. This is such a great start, wouldn't you say? <laughs> <laughs> However, uh, all of that, we are a skilled tactician. We're actually pretty good at this whole battle thing. We are, um, let's see, where does it say? 17 years old, which that's pretty good for being a 17-year-old and ready to go into uh, a skilled tactician from the get-go. Uh, 13 Marshall here. Uh, I will try to explain some of this as we go around and through it, but uh, if the, uh, as always, if you've got a question, please let me know. Um... <laughs> the thing about Crusader Kings is it is super complicated, and I love it. It's great to be able to have this level of detail. And it really is a role-playing environment where you can get into the role of this entire family and see their history from beginning to end. Uh, at the moment, we are unmarried. Um, our wife slot here is not filled, and we will definitely need to have uh, offspring because that's the way that the game progresses. So one of the first things I'm going to do here is arrange a marriage uh, for Chief Marmay here. Now, ideally, let's see, I've got mostly um, Tengri options here, but this uh, attractive 16-year-old, uh, which, remember, he's 17, so we're, we're only within a year, um, is Orthodox. That will help me convert over to Christianity, um, and we'll see how this goes. She is arbitrary, lustful, greedy, and kind. Um, lustful gives a bonus to fertility, makes a certain amount of sense. Greedy gives a tax modifier increase, so while it remo reduces diplomacy some and is a sin in the Christian churches, uh, it also adds some bonuses. So not everything that is sinful hurts you in this game, and not everything that is uh, virtuous helps you. For instance, kind here gives a detriment to intrigue, makes sense, but gives a benefit to uh, diplomacy which also makes a certain amount of sense. If you're kind, people like you that much better. So let's, uh, yeah. Let's arrange a marriage here uh, with this lowborn but Bulgarian Orthodox Christian um, and who is attractive. Now this is a genetic trait. You can always tell genetic traits because they've got the heart uh, shape around them instead of the circle shape. And hopefully we will have kids that will also be attractive one day. She is, however, an indulgent wastrel, um, and doesn't have very good scores here on anything but diplomacy, but she'll help our diplomacy a little bit. Uh, yes. Let's get married one day. Um, other things we need to do before we unpause time and get things going. We've got some important decisions. Worship the ancestors we're not going to do, uh, because we're going to convert to Christianity pretty quickly here. Um, composing a book we can't do yet. Recruit a court physician. Aha! Might want to do just that. At the moment, we do have someone who could be our court physician, but they are also Tangri, and I don't want to deal with that conflict just yet, so we'll hold off on that. We should, however, pick an ambition for our character. Um, create a treasury, become king of Bulgaria. I'm sure the king of Bulgaria would love that. Acquiring title might not be bad. Uh, get a seat on the council. Sure, yeah, let's let's do this, or do we, yeah, let's do, a, get a seat on the Council of the Liege. That will be very helpful for us going forward, um, and then we can uh, groom an heir later. Focus, though, we are going to start with a family focus. We just need this boost to fertility from the get-go, and I don't feel like this is really a seductive type character. This is someone who's trying to boost into their dynasty as we go. Okay, so here we are. Uh, what else do we have up here? Um, these little flags up here help us identify where we might need to have some things. So court physician we've talked about. We don't currently have an heir of the dynasty. The game ends if you don't have someone that your titles can pass to um, legally. Uh, and at least at the moment, that's going to have to be males until we can change our laws to allow females to inherit. Um, so at the moment, if we die, our county goes to the king. We're unmarried and regent and physician have not yet been established. Okay, let's unpause. Turned the time up just a little bit, so we'll be moving slowly. Oh, we are at war. <laughs> that was fast, must have already started. The Magyar Conquest of Hungary. Um, so the, 
Kaganet of Magyar. Uh, a Kagan is a emperor level title. It is, however, a nomadic term. So these are uh, steppe nomads that are trying to invade Hungary, which just so happens the kingdom of Pannonia here. Um, show me to the de jure. So they're trying to invade all of this and they've attacked us in Bulgaria. So this is the area at stake. I'm not gonna worry about that too much. That's the king that's uh, causing that problem. But notice this little symbol here, that means that the king has appointed us a commander of this army and we are actually marching out to battle as we speak. So just good to keep in mind. Um, I do like our uh, county thing here, it's purple, it's very nice. Purple was an excellent color for the ancient world. It meant royalty, um, since it was so hard to create, only the royals could really make it work. They had to crush up a whole bunch of snails really finely to make those purple dyes. Uh, great, we, we, we were able to um, secure this marriage, and we are getting married to Alexandrina. Um, let's see, do we want to collect 14 gold or 13 prestige? Well, at this point in time, our prestige is pretty low, and our gold is doing okay. So we're actually going to go for the prestige. No, people respect wealth. It's nice. It's the, the presence. You can have presence of gold or presence of prestige. I'm not really sure how that works out. Makes a certain amount of sense, I suppose. Okay, so time is marching on. We are now married, but we are fighting in battle, so we're probably going to lose a little bit of our... Um, our time that we could spend with our new wife here it doesn't like us right why doesn't she like us well kind versus cruel uh, she is kind and we are cruel that's a mismatch type uh, but mostly the big problem is that we're an infidel so perhaps we can convert to Christianity and make her a little bit happy see convert to her Orthodox faith um, the pillow talk of a spouse or concubine can be very persuasive. I can convert to Alexandrina's faith and become Orthodox Christian. I'm going to do that. We'd lose 500 prestige. Well, so much for that. Tengri would lose moral authority and we'd gain sympathy for Pengri religions. That seems fine. Um, we would become Orthodox and gain 200 piety for the conversion. Nice. We'll do it. Okay. Our entire screen changed because we're no longer a pagan religion. We are now a Christian religion. And so that's reflected in the entire UI, uh, the user interface of the game. Continue marching on. Okay, now we can recruit a court physician. Uh, we'll go through this in a little bit. Court physician, um, still the same guy, still Tengri, but oh well. I'm sure that's not going to be a problem. Uh, do we have Orthodox people to leave in charge just in case something happens? And do we have Orthodox people? Um, well, we could nominate our wife to be the... Um, it's called the Regent. <laughs> Would certainly make a certain amount of sense, although she's not very steward-focused. Uh, Perhaps, though, this steward that we have would be a good one. We'll do that. Um, most of our people are going to be up unhappy with us, I think, for the moment. Let's collect taxes, um, train some troops. We're going to need that going forward. We could fabricate claims uh, to see if we can try to take some extra territory here. Um, I think the laws of the land allow us to war within it. Let's find out. Kingdom of Bulgaria. Um, yes, vassals can declare war on each other. As I said, it is a very complicated um, system of making this work. What else do we have going on? Um, well, we still don't have an heir. Okay, that's our big problem. Fair enough. No family. We've just started from absolutely zero. Sympathy for pagan religions, craven. It's weird to be craven and a military person. These are just additional notifications. Uh, you, though probably should not be our ecclesiarch. We should have a Christian charge. Okay. We'll do. Um, we're already Orthodox. Oh, well that's interesting. 
I didn't look too carefully at that. Okay, so proselytizing it does not make sense for you to do. But maybe you'll con oh right, you'll convert other people in the court. That's not so bad. Okay, let's turn speed up a little bit. Ooh, hello enemies. Nine thousand? Ooh, good grief. Uh, we are not marching with the army anymore. I guess we weren't high enough. Um... Oh, there we go. Back in the battle. It's kind of strange that they put the helmet on and take it off the character model as you walk around. Um... My liege, I am pleased to report that your errant subject, Broslov, has converted to the Orthodox faith. Praise the Blessed Virgin, your humble patriarch, Ognan. So it says, uh, humble patriarch, that's not exactly true. You're not the patriarch of the religion. You are an ecclesiarch or bishop. It's titles. Who knew that having some information on how to uh, understand Greek would be helpful one day? Uh, my wife is pregnant. But I was away, wasn't I? Uh-oh. Let's find out. I've thought it over. I cannot be the father of my wife Alexandrina's baby. As it grows in her belly, I have trouble sleeping. I must put this matter to rest. Do we hire someone to find out for five gold? Probably. Uh, or trust her word? Well, you know, as it's said these days, uh, trust but verify. The pregnancy has caused my wife to develop quite the unusual tastes. Most of what she asks for dinner nowadays ranges from mildly unsettling to positively revolting. Still, scholars do agree that a pregnant woman's cravings should always be accommodated. Well, ancient scholars must. We can have her become gluttonous or prepare one of these different items. I'm not sure if it makes a difference what these things uh, whether you prepare these items. Um, I think there's a different chance for different events, but I don't know how they're linked together. So, are you sure you don't mean a quail's leg, dear? Order your cooks to prepare a quail's foot. Uh, what, a hare's head? Or why would you want a fish's eye? Trout's eye. Hare's head, quail's foot. Well, of those, I think the trout's eye actually is the only one that has any nutritious value. So we're going to go with the trout's eye. The maid I hired to gain my wife Alexandrina's confidence has not found anything at all suspicious about her pregnancy. Okay, I'm just a 17-year-old boy who doesn't know how this works, so that's a relief. At this point, uh, it's the only thing that makes sense. Ooh, man, these um, steppe nomads are doing a dangerous thing to Bulgaria here. The world is a dangerous place, and devious plots are everywhere. Rumors have reached you that people are conspiring to kill you. Must be careful. Indeed. Indeed we must. Why is someone trying to kill me? The lords of Bulgaria have approved the institution of the late feudal administration. Nice. Changes how things can work. Okay, I can go into hiding now that I'm not uh, running with the troops. I don't think I'm going to do that. Even though it might make some sense, prestige is so low. I don't know why anyone would want to kill me. Just converted to orthodox, after all. Steward has collected a special tithe. 18 gold. Oh, that's pretty good. It's actually enough, I think. Uh, yes, that's enough to get our castle walls upgraded, which, as we build up our holdings here, will be very beneficial because we'll be able to hold more levy, Get a slightly increased tax income, and fort level goes up as well. Um, we need a higher level of walls also to build a castle town, which will improve our tax significantly. So, castle walls it is. Go! Down to just 16 ducats. A daughter was born to Chief Marmea of Sofia and Countess Alexandrina of Sofia, named Elisa Feta. Well... Lisa Veta is all fine and good, but since this is the heir to Sophia, I think we are going to name her Sophia. Um, with the F, rather than the, for some reason. 